This particular incident is kind of funny. I sort of laughed at this for two reasons. Number one, guy made a lot of valid points, but the problem is you're talking to a wall when it comes to the New Jersey courts. Uh, she already set it up in her mind how she wants this to go, and it's going to be played out the way she wants to. But the reason why courts can do all this is for a simple reason, my friend. Here's the reason that you, you, are a subject. No matter what you say, you can call yourself noble, uh, Freemason, whatever you want to call yourself, doesn't matter. Judges make it up in their head. And they love the office of the public pretender defenders for a good reason. Because when they don't want to deal with you any longer, they simply put somebody like you in a cell. They talk all they want, get full agreements. Judge will even sign off on the agreements to allow the public pretender to step into your steed, say, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, please pass the bacon and the beans, ma'am, because that's the ruling you're going to follow. Whatever that order of that judge says, your public pretender will sign in your name. Whatever name you choose to use will sign in that name, and you will be subject to whatever they say. That's the way the courts operate. And then they got the power of the police force behind them. So they can basically pretty much abuse you any way they want. And this is what we got to start fighting against. It seems that our runaway judicial system pretty much ignores their constitutional obligation and chose to go by this. Now I wonder, I'm really kind of curious how these guys made out, but I could pretty much tell you when you get to the end it's pretty much the judge pretty much already ruled like the first one. And what's going to happen is these guys are going to go up for full trial. I don't know if they were pushed to the side because of public pretender, but the way the courts like to rule, they're going to get two things. Number one, they're going to get a guilty sentence from whatever judge they happen to be going before. Probably this judge they'll be going before we'll automatically find them guilty plus order them to pay the office of public pretender defender their extortion money because to tell you the truth public pretenders defenders don't even care if they win or lose a case taxpayers are paying their bill whether these two men decide to pay this man here lease pays them or not or if he's ordered to it really doesn't matter. That's part of the extortion game. Just watch your backside.